Um, so, yeah, so I take, so all forms of coherentism is a form. Fuck, God damn it. Okay, all forms, you can hear me still, right? Yeah, <laughs> we can hear you just fine. All right. So all forms of coherent, coherentism affirm the following thing. If, if you are a coherentist, you affirm the following thing. That, and that statement is, for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Everyone is a co. If they, if they affirm that statement, they are a coherentist. Doesn't matter if they think axioms are justified or unjustified. It just means that you are still a coherentist. You can be a coherentist and say axioms are justified. You can be a coherentist and say axioms are not justified. In order to be a coherentist, all you need to say is, for a belief to be justified, it needs to belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Yeah, That's the agreed. necessary condition. Okay, yeah, cool. Agreed. All right. Now, when I say ax an axiom, I just mean an, an assumption. Which is, and I mean mm -hmm. take an assumption to be an unjustified belief. Mm -hmm. um, if it was a justified belief, I don't think it would be an assumption. Um, so if it stems from, if the justification comes from another belief, I would take that not to be an assumption. If the justification comes from itself, I would take that to also be a form of justification, a non or whether it's a non-inferential or inferential justification, and I would take that to not be an assumption. Because why is it an assumption if it's justified in virtue of something else or justified in virtue of itself? When I say assume, I mean something that's not justified. Okay, so on this view, a co you can be a coherentist and have axioms in your web. And the axioms can provide justification for other views. Okay, that's... That's yeah. where I have issues. Yeah, I think that we're gonna, yeah, I know. We're I, gonna say what's the difference between foundationalism and coherentism? No, found no found here in tism. Found here in tism. Yeah, that's that's what I think okay, you're describing. What, like I think what, I think what, you're what, just describing hacks found here in tism. Well, what do you okay? Spell that out for me. So, the idea behind found his or, uh, found before, here in tism. Wait, wait, wait! Before before you get into that, actually, can you just answer this question for me? Absolutely. Would a found here in tism say the following. For a belief to be justified, it must belong to, co uh, to a coherent system of beliefs. Would they affirm that statement? No. Okay, cool. All right, go on. What's found here in The idea behind found here is that you are holding in conjunction, um, but contextually, the principles that a coherentist would hold and in other contexts that which a foundationalist would hold the idea being that okay. the idea being that sorry i think i cut out um, wait before you go on Brent, how is this relevant like let's say you you can give me another view and that view can like in some context affirm what a foundationalist would say in some context affirm what a coherentist would say um what's the What's the contradiction? What I want you to do oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. the contradiction. Yeah, the, the, the contradiction is that I don't think that coherentists will ever make the point that an axiom is justifying. The point That's is... That's not is, giving me a contradiction. No. Like, okay, here's the propositions that are... that. Okay, here are the two propositions. Proposition one, for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Another way of saying that would be Belonging to a coherent system of beliefs is a necessary, but not necessarily sufficient, condition for justification. Proposition two. An axiom can provide justification for other beliefs. Derive the contradiction. Yeah, so what do we mean by coherent set of beliefs here? Um, okay, yeah, so sure. So by coherent, um, I mean that it doesn't have any internal contradiction, because if it did, it wouldn't be coherent. Um, actually, I shouldn't say set, I would mean system. So by system, I don't have a full view on the different ways of like the different ways that uh, coherentists draw up their web. So I understand that some coherentists do it differently than others. Some have like this infinitist view. Um, some 
have a, a different view of what the web is. I'm, I don't care about that. Um, I don't care whether the coherentist has a, like a infinitist uh, web of like just this circle that goes around or if it's, or if it's uh, just this mesh work or I, I don't care about the shape of the web, how they draw it up. But basically the idea is that the different beliefs relate to each other in some way. Um, and the coherentist would say that since, and the coherentist, so, so the conditions are by coherent, not internally contradictory, um, and they relate to each other. And being part of this, and in order to have justification, it is a necessary precondition that the beliefs are relating to each other and they don't internally contradict. Um, that's when, so yeah. Now, what's the contradiction in ac between that and an axiom can provide justification? Yeah, so we're not, we're not looking for a contradiction here. Um, well, if you can't provide, well, wait a minute. If you but, can't provide but, but a there, contradiction. But, but we can, right? That, that's the other thing. Well, go ahead then. Yeah, so um, if I take an axiom at hypothe hypotheosi of P and not P, um, that's directly contradictory with the uh, antecedent of premise one. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. So, so if okay. I so, so if I, one, so if I take so if I take um, if I take the axiom of contradiction, so I just axiomatically assume p and not p. Um, that's going to entail a problem with the antecedent of premise one. So wait, just spell, can you spell that out in terms of what the premise is? Are you saying like if I say for a belief to be justified, it belongs to a system of beliefs that do not contain a contradiction, and you say, and then you say it is not the case for a system to be justified for beliefs to be justified, it must belong to a, a system of beliefs that do not contain a contradiction. Yeah, we just take we just take okay, contra great. we just take contradiction okay. as an axiom. Like okay, we just great. now how does how is it a con okay? But yeah, so you can say that, but therefore what? Like how is how are you deriving a contradiction between premise one and premise two now? Yeah, so we have a system that contains a contradiction, and yet we're still saying that anything that comes from that axiom. Um, no, is that's just... not what's being said. No. Well, I mean, look. So look. So look. If we. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. This is bit... no, no. We're not saying all. No. See, that would be a contradiction if they said if premise two was all axioms provide justification. Um. The premise two was not that. Premise two is an axiom can provide justification. It doesn't say it necessarily needs to provide justification. It doesn't mean that an, if an axiom in, is in the web, it necessarily provides justification. It just means it could. Yeah, but that's so. No, the the problem the problem is is that your system. Um, so I'm taking an axiom, right? My axiom in this case that I'm selecting ad hypothesis is just a simple contradiction. So I'm just taking p and not p. Um, and then I'm taking that to be justificatory. Okay. Um, let me. Okay. Let me frame, re, let me change premise two then to get just get get this 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 rabbit hole out of the way. Some premise two is some axioms can provide con justification. Let's do it like that. So you don't give me a specific axiom. Be hey, I found one that didn't. Like okay, great. Some premise premise one for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a system of beliefs that do not contain a contradiction. Premise two, an axi some axioms can provide justification. Yeah, so you're just describing counterintism at this point. Okay, see, but the problem is, the problem, you, no, okay, see, that can be a feature. Look, this can be a feature of counterintism. That's fine. But when you still, just because, you, just you pointing out to me that that's a feature of counterintism, that still doesn't get me to the point where I can say that a coherentist has to reject the statement some axioms can provide justification. Yeah. So even if it's true, even if what you do, you understand that even if what you just said is completely true, that still doesn't. It's not relevant to what I'm saying. It's, it's still like okay, fine. Like you can. That's also a feature of foundationalism. Great. Yeah, it's that, also something compatible with coherentism. Yeah. The you problem. Have to demonstrate a contradiction. Yeah. The problem is that what the coherentist is um, providing commentary on is what does and does not provide justification. Like justification. And so in this case, something being an axiom. No. Does not no, provide justification no, under no, coherentism. No, no, no. Like the, no, 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 like the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem is you understand how in premise one you're just taking the necessitation criteria of strong coherentism, and then you're just adding an addendum which is found foundationalism, which just is foundationalism. 
this is not giving me a contradiction here. Look, look. Okay. When I look, someone, if someone, someone says, if someone says for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. And we've got that to mean the system does not contain a contradiction. Okay. If someone says that they are a coherentist, if someone affirms that as a necessity criteria, they're a coherentist. A foundationalist doesn't, doesn't have to say that. Foundationalists can have a different criteria. But if someone has this as a criteria, they are a coherentist. Now, if you say an axiom, some axioms can provide justification. They can. All it means, all it means to say is that there are some axioms that can provide justification. And for an axiom to provide a justification, the necessary but not necessarily sufficient criteria for that axiom to provide justification is that it belongs um, is that it is, is that those beliefs um, not to sorry not to provide justification necessary and sufficient criteria for a belief to be justified. So I'm just not seeing the contradiction either at all. Like, look, here is a here statement one is a criteria that makes you a coherentist. Statement two is just an axiom. Can, some axioms can provide justification. What's wrong with this? Like, is there a problem with holding these two views at the same time? No, because that's foundationalism. Okay. So, but I don't. Why, but I don't think wait, that. Wait, wait, I don't think that premise so one. Wait, but no, it's not because you told me. Wait, 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 wait. I asked you. I asked you a question. My question to you was: Would a foundationalist affirm the following statement? Would a foundationalist say, for a belief to be justified? Okay. For, would a foundationalist say, for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs? Now you said no. Yeah, because I think I had a different understanding. Well, of then I'm not describing foundationalism. Yeah, yeah. So, so no, 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 no. So what I what I took premise one to be um, was a sufficiency criteria. If what we're saying is that it's the conjunction of the two. No, then, it's, it's, then, a yeah, then, yeah, it's not a It's a necessity. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. Then, then yeah, then uh, yeah, the, then yeah, foundationalist does hold that they hold that. Okay. That the, they so, they hold so, that the um like the axiom has to also not entail. So some why, kind of so why is foundationalism not just a subset of coherentism? Well, it kind of is. Like what's what what is okay? Great. Well, then it's and you can be a coherentist and hold and hold that. You have can have axioms in your web, and they some axioms, some yeah, of those I mean, axioms can provide justification. The, the way in the way in which, like I mean, like it kind of is, is it's unclear um, in my mind that like that we would just be able to make it its own, right? And I don't think that hack says that it is a subset. It is usually described as an intermediate view between the two. So we have like a Venn diagram, and okay, it's the well, it's the center well, view, right? So the, the issue well, is the issue is is that like if you look at the quoted text that I've provided, um, this like much stronger form of coherentism that lays out the if and only if conditions for justification, I take that to be centrally what coherentists are talking about. So they don't allow for I, axioms I mean, to be just justifying looking, prima facie, right? I'm I'm just looking. I mean, look, you can bring me a text, but I'm I'm that's from I'm the that's from the IEP is, article. It's from the okay, IEP but, article. But I'm, when, when you look at I okay, I'm on the IEP article and I'm looking at coherentism and epistemology. That first sentence, literally the first sentence. Okay, I'm looking, again, I'm not looking for a specific type of framing of coherentism. I'm just looking for, generally speak, like general, the broad category, what puts someone in the circle of being a coherentist? And what defines a co that, what defines that circle? Literally the first sentence. Coherentism is a theory of epistemic justification. Sentence two, it implies that for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. That is a necessary statement. It is not a, con it is not a sufficiency statement. Yeah, so, so the, issue, the issue I take is that if you actually go to um, the describing coherentism section, the first paragraph will mention that most coherentists do not accept the definition that you're working with. And then okay, wait, let me see where that is. Describing... Describing coherentism. Yeah. Epistemological, okay, epistemological coherentism or simply coherentism needs to be distinguished from several other theses. Because it is not a theory of truth, coherentism is not the coherence theory of truth. Wait, okay. Can you just tell me where I'm where I'm what I'm looking for in this section? Yeah, so um, what they're talking about 
Actually, I think I, I think I've maybe messed up. Yeah, the the problem is, is like. Um, wait. So did you not wait? Well, you just said that in describing coherentism, that most you're saying most coherentists. You said most coherentists do not say this is a defining feature of coherentism. The statement it implies for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Okay. Yeah. So where in this section does it say that? Yeah, I think I've misread the. Um, I'm happy to happy to agree with like the the much broader like justificatory pathway, but that's described by separating it out into these this necessita- uh, necessitation and sufficiency okay, criteria, cool. which, so talk, you which be... is talked about like for. Great. So oh, wait, wait. So so we're we're off that. So now, is there another problem with this definition as a standard definition that the literally sentenced to in the IEP? Uh, no, but the the point okay. is is that yeah, the point is is just that. Um, like the coherentist is talking about justification if and only if in these cases, right? And so the, the coherentist, uh, when you say if and only if, you just mean it if it's if it's necessary, um, no. if that yeah, it's necessary for it to be the case. No, so a coherent, like a coherentist thesis. What I mean by if and only if is that what they take to be describing the relation, like a justification relation, right? So if we take like X justifies Y the definition that a coherentist is providing for justifies there is only described um, by its relationship in some coherent set of beliefs. It is not described in any way um, with like an axiomatic theory. Okay. Would, yeah. But, okay, fine. Um, wait, 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 wait. And, and, if, and when you say, if, okay, so I'm just trying to find out if there's, I'm, I'm just trying to find out if there's anything about what you just said that's different from saying, um, or if it, maybe there's something additional, but if there's, is, is there anything that, um, okay. So statement one, it, it's if, and only if, um, if, and only if what something is justified, if, and only if it belongs to a coherent system of beliefs, is that it? Yeah. So it's a bi-conditional, okay. right? Yeah. That's the, okay. the issue. Does the that, issue is, is that necessary? Wait, just let me ask, is that necessary and sufficient? Like, just help me understand the bi-conditional here. Is that saying that if it is, is that saying that, um, it, is that saying that if it is part of a system of beliefs, then it is necessary and sufficiently justified? No, that's that's only a necessitation relation. A sufficiency relation would just be a condition. Right, but this is if and only if. Like, oh, it's a biconditional. Yeah, so yeah. That yeah. Means so, that... so, my, so, my, so this is like going back to what I was talking so like, about. And my, we're just because, ben, my question is, is it sufficient and is this a, I'm not asking you if it's sufficiency or necessity. I'm asking you if it's sufficient and this and necessity. Like if yeah. they share the same truth value, like yeah. So they no, share no, the no, same no, truth no, value no, 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 no. I'm saying that I, I agree. I think that the sufficiency, um, coherentist actually will be able to accept like axioms into their into their justification. That's like something I'm wait axioms to. as I under as I just to be clear axioms, as you understand as them. I understand it. Okay, as so you as understand I just to be clear, that. that the axioms are not justified. Correct. correct? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So it, so a a coherentist. And by and by accepting axioms, I just mean that the axiom is part of their coherent system of beliefs. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if a if a uh, if a coherentist has an axiom that's part of their system of beliefs, and they're a sufficiency coherentist, mm-hmm. they will say that the axiom is justified because it is true that the axiom is part of a of their. Wait, it's all right. I skipped out on maybe the past like 10 seconds. There's no, so the point is that a coherentist is never going to say that an axiom is like justified in virtue of being part of its beliefs, right? That would be directly problematic with your view of axiom. It wouldn't be an axiom yes, anymore. Yes, that's what I'm trying, that's what I've been trying to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's fine. And I think a sufficiency criteria, uh, coherentist can actually agree to that. I think that they can agree that. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. so on my view, a sufficiency coherentist will reject axioms, I, as I understand axioms, the way I'm using the word. Yes. No, okay. no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't think that. I think that they can accept them, but they don't, they're not in their set of justified beliefs. They're just a belief that, um, like, can provide coherency. Wait a minute, wait. Hold on. Oh, because they're they're just part of. Okay, so they're part of their. They can say they're part of their beliefs, but they're not in their system of beliefs. Justified, just yeah. justified beliefs. Yeah, because like this is the important like distinguishing Boy. feature, right? Like I don't think that coherentists have problems with axioms. 
um, simpliciter. I think they have problems with saying that axioms are justifying or that axioms, as we understand them, are in a set of justified beliefs. Because you, you seem to agree with okay. that. You seem to agree that what you mean by axiom is an unjustified belief that is like foundational. Right, right. 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 So, yeah. So, if, so I think a coherent, just, a sufficiently coherent just can say, okay, I have an axiom, but it's unjustified and it is, and it is also outside of my coherent system of beliefs. There's, right. which means, which I take it to mean that the axiom has no relation to any of their other beliefs. Yeah. Um, and, or, well, or, well, a, a uni directional either, relation. Either, right? yeah, well, well, depending on how they're, it depends on how they're drawing their web, but it could be either, it doesn't have to be unidirectional. Um, or, or that the axiom itself is logically contradictory. Those are the two ways they can say that, so they could affirm dialetheism. Those are the two ways that they can have an axiom. They can say that the axiom is not, by axiom I mean unjustified belief, they can say that it is not part of their co uh, co coherent system of beliefs. And to say it's not part of your coherent system of beliefs, either it's not part of the system which mean, I take it to mean it's, it's just a separate belief that doesn't have relations to other beliefs or it's internally contradictory. Yeah. I'm I mean, okay with that. Fine. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. there are, but you can still be, but at the same time, you can be a coherentist and you can say that um, an axiom can, there's nothing about, okay, so you can be. How does, is, how does it do on. that though? Wait, how does what do that? How does an axiom provide justification under coherentism? Um, by being in the... Uh, oh, how, does it, how does it get into the by, web of beliefs? Oh, I don't know how... I don't know how it... That's, um, that, but that's like, that's wait, the, wait, prob wait, that's wait, the problem, on. right? Wait, wait, wait. It's not, a, it's not a... But it's not a problem. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, again, a coherentist just says... So let's say we have axiom A and belief uh, B. Hmm. Axiom... Uh, a in a in a non sufficiency coherentist view can be in the web of beliefs and it can provide justification regardless of how it does to belief b within that coherent system of beliefs just all it's all the coherentist would say is that all the coherentist is saying here is that what makes what's making them a coherentist is that they believe that it was it is a necessary condition that for belief B to be justified, it needed to be in a coherent system of beliefs. It needed to belong to a coherent system of beliefs. That was a necessary condition that was met. Maybe not sufficient condition, but that's not a contradiction. Yeah, no, at this... axiom A providing justification for belief. Now, I'm not giving you an account of how that's happening. Right. I'm not this, giving you an account the, of that's yeah, but, that, but 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 that's not a problem though. That's not. I don't need to. I'm, no, I don't need to give no. I don't need to give you an account of how axiom A provided justification for belief B. Yeah, well, I'm, like this is just the view on what is a necessary condition for 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 having justification. It's yeah, not no, necessarily. I don't, I don't think that I don't think that necessary um, like necessi necessitation coherentists can actually accept this. Why? Um, the... But just to be clear, what we agree of what makes someone a necessity, a necessity coherentist. What makes someone a necessity coherentist is that they say, for a belief to be justified, it needs to be part of a. It needs to belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Yeah, but that's that's describing but, that's describing the justification relation. And so if we no, then say, wait, 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 it's describing a necessary condition addition of no it's describing a necessary condition for a belief to be justified right so it's describing it's the describing, justification not, relation yeah, that's what that means no. to describe the justification Wait. relation yeah it does Wait, so like no. so like look if we have <laughs> if we have if we have a statement of the form a justifies b um what that means is that the inclusion of b is going to contain is going to retain like a coherent system that's all that that means, right? I don't, if, I don't, I don't. Under, 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 coherent, look, under coherentism, look, that's one at a time, Bryn, one, 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 one at a time. Look, when you say, when you say, okay, when someone says, for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. If you think, say, that's describing the justification, when you say that's describing the justification relation, I just, let's get clarity. What do you take that to mean? What do you mean by that? When you say justification relation? Yeah, so if 
So if we're at like a predicate level, right, at this point, that's what I take these things to be describing is, is predication and specifically the predication of justification. Um, if we're describing the predicate justifies um, from A to B, um, what I take the coherentist to be talking about is that that relationship is the inclusion of B into the set of A without creating a contradiction. I don't, it could be, no, it doesn't have to be A or B. It could just be any, it could just be anything. It could be yeah, any. Spe- I'm speaking generically yeah. here, right? But that's, like, but that's not, spe- that's not spe- specifying any direction of justification though. It could be, it could be in all sorts of justifications. As yeah, long no, it's, as it's, it's, you know, it's, all it's, it's saying, and it's not yeah, even it's, saying it, it yields justification. It's just yeah, it's, saying that. It, it's reflexive and everything. That's fine. That, that that's not a problem. Like the coherentist is fine with that. They accept like reflexivity in this case. The okay, but the found the found the foundationalist does not is is sort of okay, like a distinguishing feature there. Re- right? Look, look, look. Just okay, Brent. So okay, fine. So all I, all that means is that so it's not telling you. It's not telling you that the only relationship it's telling you is that. And and also. Also, it doesn't have to be specifying that there is a relationship between one or the other. It's, why can't someone just have multiple webs that are not related to each other? Like they would be a coherentist too. They can just have multiple different webs. I I don't know if they can do that. I think that's like a relatively contested topic. I guess like we could just like say like yeah. that idea exists out there. I don't know if if like every coherentist would yeah. accept no, that. No, I know. I'm, uh, I'm, but yeah, but all I'm saying, okay. But so, 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 like, so like the, the important part here, right, is that we're talking about, when we talk about things like coherentism, foundationalism, um, infinitism, et cetera, we're talking about um, a description for the justification, like predication, right? And so the idea Wait, is that- When you say description for justification, predication, what just- Yeah, so we're, we're just saying like, if yeah. I have, if I'm working in like a predicate logic and I have- If I have like this, right, where we're talking about the justification um, of of A and B, right? Um, and just ex- and just what, explain that for me. So is that saying A justifies B? Like what? Well, is that? yeah, yeah, exactly, right. So we're saying that's that's the case. So in like an an infinitist um, account, we would say it A justifies B in in virtue of it being like some uh, progression or ascension. In a foundationalist account we would say that A justifies B in virtue of A being an axiom um, that can justify the belief B. And then with coherentism, we would say that A justifies B in virtue of B's inclusion into A, not entailing a contradiction. Okay, so there's where I just, okay, wait, 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 wait. So there's where I just, okay, so that, would that statement that, 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 um, a justifies B in, in virtue of being um, in in the uh, set of beliefs in the system of beliefs. I so I take that. So what I'm saying at what brings someone into the coherentist circle is just saying that that provides the necessity criteria for justification. The necessity, and it's not necessarily specific. To, it doesn't have to be A. It just ha- could be. It needs to be in any system of coherent beliefs it doesn't necessarily yeah, but, need to be a but that's like that's, it's not, that's, there's nothing about the coherent that, belief that says this part of the web needs to like every part of the web needs to justify every other part of the web or just, provide just, necessary just clear, like, like yeah do you do you know like the set of like properties of relations like the the general ones because the, the the point is is that coherentists will accept um like reflexivity right and what does that mean yeah so um if so for a coherentist to say that this justification relation is reflexive um what they mean is that for like the the set of thing that is being justified it's true for well for like so if we have like a in a subset of like a larger set of beliefs a that can be included it's justifying for all those things and then it's symmetric if like a justifies b and b also justifies a so the idea is that, like, for all beliefs, this can occur. Okay, but and I then, don't see then, how this is really. Yeah, I get. I get but, 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 like, but, like, but, 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 like, so what? Yeah. But, so the the point. Yeah, the so point what? is. Yeah, the point is, is like that definition works. Wait, but that that's not. 
okay is this the standard is this a standard definition of what brings something into the circle of co under coherentism yeah because because like you just okay show me where show me where show yeah me, so, like a definition includes that that, that says like because here's the thing like here's the problem burn like i'm like typically i ask you for these things and like I, I'm I literally just don't see it anywhere. Like like it's very simple. Like this look like the broad. What I'm looking for here is not like, oh, you know, typically coherent is like no. I'm looking for like what brings a what brings someone into the circle of being defined as a coherentist. I'm not talking. I'm not asking you what coherentists typically accept. What they typically. I'm saying like okay, here is how it. This here is the standard definition. Like, just yeah, like I would ask for like the standard definition of atheism, for example, like I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't care. I'm not asking you about like, oh, typically most atheists have this view of atheism. Like, I don't know. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking what's the, what is the definition that brings people into the, uh, that brings people into the definite, the circle of being described as a coherentist. Yeah. So I think it's, I think it's either of those two criteria that I just put in chat, uh, either that it's a necessary, like, other than that it's it's just the thing that we've been talking all along, right? I think it's like either the necessitation criteria or the sufficiency criteria. Nece so okay, of, okay. Necessity for belief yeah. to be justified. Okay. Now, when I am looking, are, where, where are you quoting this from? So exactly, that's from the IAP. Yeah. What? Okay. So exact. What exactly does coherentism have to say regarding when our beliefs are justified? The strongest form of coherentism, which again I take that to just be within the circle of coherentism, right? Because there are other forms of coherentism. The strongest form of coherentism says that belonging to a coherent system of beliefs is one, ne necessary for a belief to be justified, and two, by itself, sufficient beliefs to be justified. This view, call it strong coherentism, may be contrasted with two weaker forms of coherence. Okay, so notice how that, what you just quoted me, is not what brings someone into the circle that describes coherence. No, 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 because I, yeah. I, I said it was the disjunction, right? I said it was one or the other. Okay, cool. So... What I see, my view, and correct me if I'm wrong, what brings someone into the circle of being described as a coherentist is that is just one without the end. It's that it is necessary for a belief to be justified for it to be part of that web, for it to be part of the coherent system of beliefs. That's what brings, that's what defines someone as a coherentist. Yeah, no, I, I I agree that that's that's my okay, idea. So of what's the contra but... Okay, so now what's the problem with also holding the view that some axioms can provide justification for other beliefs? Like yeah, by so... axiom, I just mean I by axiom, I just mean an unjustified assumption that's held as a belief. Yeah, there's no there's no um... wait no the, no the yeah I mean yeah the the point is I don't I don't have a problem with saying that you can have this like subtype of necessitation coherentism that is a found herentist. That's fine. I'm okay, happy to great. Say. Cool. But I think so, that's what, that's so what you're describing, right? Is the, is the inclusion of, of axiomatic thinking into your justification, which is just found herentism. Yeah. It's just felt like that's okay, just what found. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now you if you want to say, if you want to say that found herentism fits in this, within the circle of what would be defined as someone who is a coherentist, fine. No problem. Totally fine. Then someone can. Then it's true that someone can be a coherentist, have axioms, and also say that at least some axioms can provide justification for other beliefs. Yeah. So the the point is is like the original discussion that we were having. Um, I I still don't necessarily agree. Like, I don't know if I agree that I would include it. Um, like I, I'm just remain agnostic to that. If you want to well, say I, that found, like if you want to say that, look, like if you want to say found herentism is a subset. Um, like I, yeah, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, because I think that there's a, there's a stronger, look, like there's a stronger so implication. Ask, here, like, right? would have found, look, if, okay, do you agree that what defines someone in the circle of coherentists, what someone classifies someone as a coherentist is that they affirm the following statement for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs. Yeah, but I think it's an if and only okay. if. I think Would... it's an if and only if for oh, that to be a coherent. Okay, so you, okay, so you disagree with it then? Yeah, so I think. Well, I think that they hold that view. They just hold it if and only if, right? Because we're using we're using so like it a nat necessary line. Necessary and sufficient. Then we're using That's yeah, the we're using coherent to you. Yeah, we're using like a nat line there, right? Wait a minute, but wait, but that, but that, the IEP says doesn't agree with that. The IEP says that. They describe non-strong coherentism as also coherentism. There are weaker varieties of coherentism, like necessary sure. coherentism. 
Okay, but but that's not an if and only if then. Yeah, the 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 so issue is, is so you taking necessary. So on your view, necessary coherentism is not coherentism. Do I have that right? My my issue here is that I I think that. Wait, can you just answer IEP the question? Can you answer my question? Yeah, I don't. I don't think that the IEP is being clear enough here on what it means um, for like it to be part of just or to be justified or to be part of the justification relation. I think that the the point I'm of like a sufficient. If, um, but that's not what I'm asking. I, I'm not asking if something that w w what the IEP is is talking about in regards to justification relations. I'm just asking, what is your view of what brings someone into the circle of being defined as a coherentist? Now you gave me an answer. Yeah, yeah. That, I think was. I think I think like the easiest answer in this debate is just to say that I I hold the I hold it conjunctively rather than disjunctively. Okay, so then just to be clear, you think we you think necessary coherentism are not coherentists. Do I have that right? Yeah, I don't think so. So necessity necessity coherentism on your view is a, for, a, a not a form of coherentism, despite yeah. the IEP define classifying it as a form of coherentism. At, at like face value, I don't think it's what most people mean by coherentism now. Okay, but, I mean, but look, like, all but, I can—I mean, but, I can ask a philo i can ask some. I can ask philosophers but about because I'm not just, an expert in philosophy. But yeah, but I mean, just to, just to be clear, like I'm I'm happy to to say that like the the concept that I have of coherentism um, doesn't include that. But absolutely, like if you want to say that it is then then that's fine like i'm happy with that just and, and is you, your view is is it your view that broadly speaking um when philosophers talk about coherent of, of necessity coherentism they would classify necessity coherentism as not something that is not co coherentism as something that is not a subset of coherentism no not necessarily okay so what i'm interested in like to go circle on back is that so you can have a proprietary definition of coherentism then, that's fine. But I'm interested in the standard definition of coherentism. So it seems to me that the standard definition of coherentism, and always correct me if I'm wrong, is, is at minimum necessity coherentism. And there could be other forms of coherentism that are stronger. Yeah, but so, so the, the big important part is that I think this got away from, from what happened originally, right? The very original disagreement a couple days ago was mostly due to the fact that we were using different notions of axiom, right? And it this is almost all, all okay, been so entirely given, cleared up by we, the fact that you... But I clarified that. Like, I clarified many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, no, yeah. And, I've, and I agree now, like, that under your okay. definition of, of axiom, then, yeah, some are going to have it, but it's not going to be justified at any point. Wait. Uh, the, well, the act of course, well, of course not. And, and then, and then, and then, well, and then, Brent, Brent and, then and then, there's a further, there's a further, there's a further important point though that is just like, um, if you want to include foundationism as a subset, that's fine, but it's more accurate to describe you as a foundationist than as a coherentist. Well, of course, that's just being more specific. Sure, but, but that, that's fine. Yes, then. I would. Yeah. yeah like, I would just, that, that's yeah. true for that's true for any subset. Yeah, but that's fine then. Then we're good with that. Yeah. Okay. The, so... the issue I the issue I have with having it as a subset is um is I'm not I'm not sure that it's like it's proper to do that. I think that there's there's issues. Yeah, what I was thinking. Can I interject or no? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Um. What I was thinking is uh as far as I guess I I heard I'm not like I don't have expertise in this, but um as far as I understood, I think like uh. I guess that the whole idea behind coherentism is that beliefs are like mutually justifying, right? Whereas foundationism doesn't hold yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't have to have a a, a unidirectional relation, yeah, right? Like trickling down of justification from basic beliefs to other beliefs, and mm -hmm. not that all beliefs mutually justify okay, each other. So, I guess. so the so I again so this is. This, is it? Do you take it to be the case that the standard definition of coherentism is that someone is a coherentism coherentist if they believe that beliefs are mutually that their beliefs in their web are mutually justifying? That's, that's what, what it, it, that's what it means to be a coherentist. That's what I've heard it to be. I, like I was just trying to like prompt Brent because okay. I know. So I I 
I look at and any philosopher could correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't take that to be what defines someone as a coherent truth. It could be what includes them in a circle, but what defines the what defines what explains what what can sort all ca- what, what I think can sort all cases either in the circle or out of the circle is that this is the following question: Do you do you say that do you affirm for a belief to be justified, it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs? Yes or no. And if they say yes, they're a coherentist. If they say no, they're not a coherentist. Yeah, I guess. But like, what I was trying to point out is that what it means for them to be coherent is like. Okay, so for coherent, the- yeah, no, I've I've went through, we've gone through this. So for some, for a, when we what we mean by coherent is that it it doesn't in, contain a uh, logical contradiction because uh, if it did contain a logical contradiction, it would it would not be coherent. Um, there may be other things that I'm not aware of that can make something not coherent, but I, that's just what I take it to mean. As it, if, if it contains a logical contradiction, it's not coherent, yeah. Well, I was just trying to, like, yeah. sort of, like, uh, prompt Bryn's, like, a memory or whatever, because I know, like, uh, he probably knows about this stuff, that, like, uh, a part of, I don't know, the kind of, like, the meaning of coherent may be the fact that uh, beliefs are mutually justifying, you know, that's what I was trying to, like, yeah, yeah, we okay. we, talk, so we, I, talked about, we talked about like the reflexivity um, and symmetry of the like, justification. Yeah, but relation. that's not but that's not what defines someone as a coherentist. So you can you if you can if you can make it a biconditional, but that but then that's you, you're just saying. Well, it's that, not sorry. it's not about it's not about biconditional here. Uh, biconditional. Oh, sorry, you can you can say it's symmetry in terms of the justification relation. Yeah, that's fine, but that's just that's just describing a, a part of the, a, a subset or, or certain coherentists what they would believe about their about their uh about the certain um ways justification happens fine but that's again that's just not that's irrelevant to what i'm saying because what i'm saying is that Mm -hmm. yeah i mean what i'm saying is just you are coherent you're you're it is still it could still that could all be true but it could it is still the case that what splits you from being a coherentist and a Mm non-coherentist is if you affirm that for a belief to be justified it must belong to a coherent system of beliefs yeah but just just to be clear um like just ne- look, necessity co- coherentism or greater or something no, no, like I, something that includes that at minimum no i'm just i'm just going to clarify because i think we're talking in circles i've i've already can see the Sounds point like that what i think coherentists like to do <laughs> well maybe we're justifying ourselves well i mean that's that's the thing right is that the the holding of reflexivity and symmetry is what gets you to the circularity objection and so that's why some people want to drop those properties from their relation understanding right um the the thing that I want to get back to is I think that um, like just to be clear I'm conceding to to your definition of axioms being inc- like something that we can include in some kinds of coherentism um, and that kind of coherentism okay, cool. is is properly understood as found herentism because like the the root okay, of the that's, debate that's fine yeah because 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 the root of the debate was um was uh I pointed out that can you what, be a coherentist and have an axiom. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. The the thing is, is like, um, I guess my concept of axiom holds like a, and what I take to be the concept of axiom in, um, like most mathematical logic is is a little bit stronger than just a just an assumption. But I think that that's like this whole whole other debate on on things like meta languages okay. and stuff but like that with, too. So, but, but with but with with, with your with your with your with your um, definition, yeah a um a coherentist can include uh an unjustified belief um that does not de facto justify something but in fact justifies if and only if it's also in a um in a coherent set of beliefs so such that it's like the conjunction okay. of the two that's and i just take that okay, to be, cool. I, I just i just take that to be like hacky and found found herentism which was like my original thing that i was just pointing out okay Sure, and I and I don't have a problem with that if you're willing to say that frontierism, um, based on all the de- definitions we've outlined, frontierism would be a subset of coherentism. Yeah, yeah, like I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to just like grant that. Um, great, great. So you so, okay? So then you can be. So we agree that you can be a coherentist. You can be a coherentist that has axioms, as I've as I've. Right as as as, as as you've as you've specified them right. as I've that's, specified. I think that's like uh, which the I don't think part. is I don't which by the way I don't think is like this weird super proprietary like like I don't, unjustified belief is like no I don't when people say the word I don't think it's proprietary I'm not I'm not charging you yeah with the, okay cool cool um 
So you can be a coherentist and have axioms and some, you can be a coherentist and not only have axioms, but you can have the view that some of the axioms you have can provide justification for other beliefs. Uh, conjunctively with, with being in the, in the like set of coherent yeah. beliefs. Yeah. 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 If, if, yeah, yeah. If the, if those, yeah. Um, okay, cool. All right. So I don't think we have anything to disagree with anymore. All right. No, I I'm don't out. think so. All right. Later.